Welcome to How to Be a Sound Engineer. This is Sean. Uh, if you've already seen my previous video on, uh, or if you haven't already seen my previous video on just some basics of where things are, I suggest going and watching that. This is basically a channel for sound production, sound engineering. I'll be using Sonar X2 for this uh, demonstration. And uh, I plan on this video showing you how to do some basic editing. Uh, slip editing, slicing, fading clips, moving clips, and uh, the snap to grid function along with that. Um, next video I'll get into a few more editing pieces, but we'll keep this short and simple for this video. So first off, as you can see, we have our track view here. Um, we have uh, our instrumental um, uh, with, from M&M's When I'm Gone. Uh, again, this was a sample we're using for uh, my daughter did a cover with uh, when I'm gone. Anyway, so I'm just using some of the clips from that as samples to show you guys how to do stuff. All right, first we'll start with uh, slip editing. Um, so, actually, what we'll first we'll start with is slicing. Make it a little easier. For so like all right say I have all these things and for some reason I'm not I want to cut out this section here so there's some noise here that's just annoying and I want to cut it out so one way I can do that is I see where my cursor is right now it's a it's I have the stereo track here I have um, I can't right now the move tool is, is selected because I want the top half of the of the sample or the clip and you can see the move tool up here on the top left it's automatically selected because it's on smart right now so the top half would be move the bottom half is your uh, your select or you can you know, where you want to put it right now I have it on quarter snap to grid so it's only going to snap like if you notice the 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 bar moves a quarter measure at a time so if I want to change that or even take it off, I just click the snap. Now this will go virtually anywhere I want it to go. All right, so I want to go here or right here. I click here. All right, now this is the bar. The bar is selected here, right about just below three and just below three and a half uh, third measure, just before the half beat. So with it selected here I can hit the S key and it's gonna slice this into two clips as you can see I have a clip here and I have a clip here now <clears throat> if I want to delete this click clip I, it's already highlighted so I can just hit the delete key alright cool now I, I sliced and deleted the section of the clip I didn't need now I'm like oh this isn't quite where I want it though it's it's still just space here so I can do is I can you put my mouse around the edge of this and see this little arrow pops up I can slide this this is called slip editing I can go I can slide it to wherever I want to move it so I'll say I want it right there okay but it's still some I just want to kind of fade in this is a we've called fading clips right here so I can take this and I can move this like that now, um, oops, sorry, that's our loop construction, not doing that. Um, so I, I can drag this, see how the uh, uh, sound wave, sorry, my brain is not working right now, <laughs> bear with me sound wave fades down you can actually see it kind of build like so the more you kind of move it you can see how it would fade um, trying to remember this is you can still slip at it from here as you can see so so you want it just like so cool that's right where we want it alright now I can also use the snap to grid function here 
some quarter. I can put it to half. I can put it to eight, sixteenth, even all the way down to one twenty-eight. I can do whole measures, sick samples, frames. Just depends on what I have it set at. So four. So I can I can make sure I snap. I can I can clip something right out of measure if I want, or or quarter measure, or whatever I want. And then also the snap to grid on. This also functions as, as when you go to move a clip. So if you notice I'm moving this clip, it's moving one quarter measure at a time. Now if I was to change this to sixteenth, it would move one sixteenth measure at a time. Obviously I can slide faster, but it'll snap at every sixteenth. Which is pretty cool when you're doing your editing and everything. So always control Z undoes things so you can undo all these things you just did. Oh look, now we're back to where we were. So I can just keep hitting control Z and go back. Um, there's a few more shortcuts. Control C copies things. So like, so you split this here again and you split this for some reason. And you're like, I want to copy this. Push control C, put the cursor wherever you want that. So you want it there. You paste it there by, trusting, by pressing Control V. Simple Control C, Control V that you find in most applications. So you don't have to learn anything new there. It's pretty obvious. Um, all right. So now you have the basics of sliding and fading clips and everything else. Um, and that should give you a good start for where you want to, as you're editing, as you're recording stuff, and you want to move things around. I mean, and you can zoom in um, really tight, and you can also use this to zoom here by by the, using by pulling this, or just pressing um, the plus or minus on your um, uh, little thingy here. My brain is not working today. Sorry, guys. And the same applies for this. For the zoom vertical in and out. And this is the zoom horizontal. So, like, you wanted to move a syllable, I could take the snap off. Usually, when you're doing this fine work, you aren't. So you're like, oh, okay, I want, to, I want to cut it here and cut it here, and I want to move this over a little bit. You can do that. It gives you an option to do, especially when you're doing like multiple layers of stuff. A lot of times, you'll go back and you'll zoom in, you'll look, and a lot of the syllables won't match up from one clip to the next. Um, I already did a lot of that so they should be pretty close uh, within these takes as you can see they're real close and there's a few that are a tiny bit off but they're close so it gives you an idea of what you can do and uh, and the snap to grid is really great when you're using like when you're dragging around multiple clips together and you want to keep things in line you don't want to lose it real good tool for that anyway I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, this is how to be a sound engineer. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And uh, have a great day. Good luck. Bye.